And to not be cruel and miserly This speech was soft and gentle Like a mother stroking her child His mercy and compassion Were most radiant when he smiled Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Muhammad mercy upon me Upon mankind, teacher of all mankind, Abel Hussein, Ya Habibi, Ya Muhammad, Ya Shafi'i, Ya Muhammad, Khayro Khalqi, Lahi Muhammad. Welcome back, and uh, thank you for remaining with us. Um, we are still discussing the Youth Exchange and Study Program, uh, which is being run by the um, U.S. State Department. Uh, but in, in Ghana here, we have the U.S. Embassy also maybe taking up the, the work by the Public Affairs Section of the U.S. Embassy here in, in, in Ghana. Um, we, we just now discuss in the first segment um, the whole structure uh, of, of, of the program. Now we're dealing with beneficiaries, and we have in the studios the lovely uh, young people, um, two females and uh, one male who are beneficiaries and American beneficiaries of this exchange program. They have been in Ghana here for some time. They will tell us their experiences, um, which school they attend in Ghana, um, and their American school, and uh, some of the lessons they have learned, and, and, and maybe some of the similarities they have found, the whole experience. Uh, maybe from, from my Far, far right, I, I begin with, with you. Tell me your name, your American school, your Ghanaian school, uh, maybe at your age. All right. Um, I'm Anna Marie Martinez. I come from Republic, Missouri, Republic High School. Right. And I volunteer right now as a teacher's aide for class four in mother care school. Yeah, great. <laughs> great. How old are you? I am 18. Eight? I turned 18 Ten. here while I've been in Ghana. Great. <laughs> yes. Um, Please. My name is Adam Streeter. I am from Moraga, California. I'm coming from Camp Lindo High School, and I'm attending Tema Secondary School, or okay. Tema School. Yeah, you and can see your school, your school, <laughs> your school uniform. <laughs> and I am also 18. I turned 18 while oh, I was Oh, great. Here. Oh, that's, that's, that's interesting. Yes, let me come to you. Oh, good morning. Um, my name is Justine Gonzalez-Burke, and I'm from Washington State, um, Port Townsend High School, and I'm attending Achimota Singer Secondary School. Yeah, I can see you yeah. in your school uniform. <laughs> and I'm 17 years old. <laughs> 17, okay, so one, yes. one, year, one year younger uh, than, your, than, than your colleagues. Um, um, you are all welcome to, to the studio and to, and to, and to, and to Ghana. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, if, if I may begin with you, I, I, I hope I did not catch your names uh, very, 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 very well. Um, but um, your name is um, Justin. Justin, I think I, I can catch Justin now. Justin, um, 
just just tell me have you found anything similar uh, between your school life in the u.s and where you are doing your your volunteer work now all right well similarities there are and there are many differences, oh, different, different differences. the greatest difference is the boarding factor mm, because okay. back home we are all day students all right um, i'm also a day student in achimota so for me that is the same mm. um yes and there are some differences but uh, similarities right but maybe uh, adam maybe you, you may also want to, want to uh, tell us um, yeah. taking your your school in particular uh, have you found something uh, so unique that you may want to talk about? Something that's different. Yeah. Um, it's definitely different having most of your classmates be boarding students. Mm. I think the style of teaching here is very different. All right. Uh, long lectures. Uh, <laughs> class can be very long. It's, it's a different kind of scheduling mm. than we have in the United States, All right. at least at my school. Mm. Um, but in general, I find classmates very, very friendly. Okay. Um, so everything is wonderful. Uh, uh, yes, good. Uh, your name once again? Mary. Uh, Mary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mary. Mary, um, you, 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 you are in a, in a lower primary. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, how interesting or how challenging have you found it, I mean, working with the, with the lower primary children here? Well, uh, sometimes it can be rather uh, difficult only because the children are so energetic and enthusiastic all the time. Um, some differences are definitely the way children are punished sometimes at school. Okay. So that's kind of been something culturally that I've had to adapt to. Okay. But for the most part, it's very enjoyable. The children love to learn about where I come from, and they mm. love to learn the different techniques that I have, certain games or songs that we sing in order to learn. So it's been very nice to try and uh, express myself and my country while trying to teach them. Right. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, from the objectives of this whole um, the YES program, um, one of them is to promote maybe intercultural understanding um, and, and knowledge, uh, you know, in order to promote well, well, well peace. So, Justin, let me, let, me, let me come back to you. Are there some cultural things that are, are so interesting to you that you found? Um, let me pick it from maybe the, the family with which you are, you are, you are just interacting now. Yes. <laughs> well, my family here is an extended family, okay. which is very different than back home where we have the nuclear... Is it a Christian family? Or yes, I live family? with a Christian oh, family. Okay. That's great. Yes. And having different aunts and uncles living in the house. Great. <laughs> is all, and having house help is also very different mm. than back home. Right. Yes, mm. cultural point. Yeah. Uh, do you want to mention specifically the, the different uh, uh, aspect that you, you have noticed uh, with respect to the, having a house help or something? Um, just the fact of having that we don't have that back in the united oh, states okay. at least in my home all right um and being everybody related in a nuclear family mm. versus different relations and yet here we all call each other brother and sister and so that's <laughs> different but it's wonderful it's, it's interesting adam um <clears throat> tell us um from the Ghanaian cultural what, what, what kind of family that are you staying with i'm also staying with a christian family okay. i don't have extended family staying with all right me. For some time, when I first came, there were two grandmothers staying in the home. Okay. Um, but likewise, it was different having a house help. Um, we don't anymore, mm. but for some time we did. Right. Um, and uh, just experiencing how uh, parenting is somehow different. I find parents here to be um, a little less uh, giving and freedom. Towards, okay. Especially towards people my age. Right. So just learning how to deal with that yes. and adapt <laughs> to... The changes right yeah interesting yeah. um do, do, do you want to let, let me come back to mary mary do you want to um what family do you do you do you live with the family your family is it a, a muslim family or a christian family um the the family i stay with is a christian family, it's a Christ, christian family. Yeah. That, that, that's all right um have you have you learned something some cultural value that is so much of interest to you that you may want to carry back to the, to, to the U.S. Um, I, I have learned that in the family setting, there's a lot of respect for each other. Mm. Um, in America, that is so, but it's not as uh, e evident in mm. everyday life. 
whenever I was to wake up in the morning, we'd all say good morning to each other mm. here in Ghana. Right. And whenever we come home from school, we would ask, you know, how was your day mm. and stuff like that. And back in America, most of the time, we were all on different schedules and things like that. Mm. So even though we respected each other and we liked to be with each other, mm. most of the time we weren't together enough to ask, you know, how was your day and okay. stuff like that. Mm. So how much the family means to everyone here in Ghana is a very, very... Uh, cultural aspect that I would love to bring back mm. to my family. Right. I mean, that, 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 that's, that's interesting. It's true. I mean, I mean Ghana here, even in what we call the compound house, we live as the same family. You've got mm -hmm. a one big house, and we all, sometimes we eat from the same pot, and so on and so forth. And I think it's something uh, that we, we here in Ghana cherish um, um, so much. Let's, now, now let's, let's, let me ask you about some of the, the things that you found culturally challenging that you would wish that even we, uh, the owners of the culture, would modify, maybe, if, in, in your general experience. Um, mm. Justin, is there any one thing that you notice? Mm. <laughs> Cultural difficulties. Well, there are some, right. certainly, differences. Mm. I think indirect communication okay. sometimes is frustrating okay. when somebody doesn't tell me something I'm doing wrong directly, mm. okay. and I have to figure it out my Yourself. own way, um, mm. right. and then it's too late, mm. or... Yeah. The problem is there. Exactly. I agree with you because sometimes uh, we are so much respectful for our, for our yeah. guests, you know, that even as young as you are, even the head of the family, uh, you do what culturally may not be accepted, but he will not be able to tell you. I mean, he, he just look at you. Yes. And of course, it comes from respect, <laughs> yeah, from respect. which is wonderful. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah. Of course, we respect our guests so much. Um, that's, yes, Adam, is there anything that... It's a very difficult question to answer, <laughs> only because... At this point, I feel very much adapted yes. to uh, uh, Ghana and culture here. But uh, at the beginning of my stay, it was difficult to get used to uh, yeah. the, mm. okay. the change in time, mm. how things often uh, run late. So people would often call Ghana man time to me, mm. uh, GMT. And I, now I actually abide by Ghana man time. I'm late <laughs> just a little bit to almost everything. So it's just all okay. <laughs> yes, that's, that's, that, that's, that's interesting. Um, let me, let me, let me, let me, Adam, let me, let me ask you one funny, funny question, maybe from your experience here. Um, I know the, how much have you been, been put under pressure by our nice young, young, young ladies who some, sometimes, you know, <laughs> see somebody with wild skin, some just want to talk to you or I just have make friends with, friendship with you. Have you been put in pressure? Uh, I've had many wives <laughs> offered to me. Uh, when I first came, often walking on the side of the road, people would say, would offer me a wife or okay. this or that um, until they found out I was only 18 years old <laughs> or at that time 17. Right. Uh, so I've learned, I will just say, oh, me is school, I don't want to. So. I like the language aspect. <laughs> I mean, that's an interesting thing. You have reminded me of something. I'm going to, Justin, I'm coming back to you. Maybe I'm coming to you. You would tell me one or two vocabulary that you've learned in the local language. You will give me that before you, before you go away. But meanwhile, um, the, if you want to make any further contact to get more information, just watch on the screen. You will see the number. The email is there and the number, num number is there. Please uh, pick up your pen and then read from the screen and then, and then you can make follow-up uh, contacts and so that you can also benefit from the, from, from the, from, from the program. Yes, Mary, let me, let me come to you. Now I'm interested in something that you've learned culturally from Ghana. Give me one or two or three vocabulary or expression, um, either by way of greeting or by mm -hmm. way of just asking a question that, that you have learned and you have right. used. Right. Yes. Um, I know one expression that me and we all use a lot, mebah, I'm coming. We oh, okay. use that because uh, in, in the United States, we don't use the expression, I'm coming. Yes, exactly. Yes. When we say I'm coming, it means we are actually going to that place. Okay. But it's nice to use it here, mebah, <laughs> you know, I'll be back, I'm yes, coming. Yes, yes. Um, I, mate, 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 I, mate. I, I, I hear you, I okay, understand. Right. It's, it's very uh, nice to use in the marketplace okay. or anywhere when we're outside the home mm -hmm. because it's really interesting mm -hmm. to see how Ghanaians really do appreciate us trying. Yes. Uh, Mary, I'll come back to you, but right. I, I think the, you, you are the, you, 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 that's, you, you yeah. went somewhere and you have some, some with, with some Muslim families. Mm -hmm. yes. um, wh maybe you want to give us some more explanation. Wh 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 what is this? I think this was for Eid al-Adha. Oh, and great. Afterwards, we went and we witnessed um, the sacrifice All at right. uh, a mosque in La. Mm -hmm. And then we went on with um, the, the man, the Ghanaian. Right. He runs a, a Muslim um, 
uh, like charity organization oh, for right. orphans and oh, okay. went to okay. visit an elder. Mm, okay. Oh, that's 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 great. Um, that's interesting. That that's that's another 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 picture. Is this the same occasion? Um, yes. Is that the same occasion, Justin? It was the same. We went to the mosque too. Okay. All right. For morning uh, prayers. For morning prayers. Yeah. Oh, not this one. This one. This an old man. I mean, sitting um, in, in between there. M M Mary, what, do you do you remember this this occasion? Yes, we went to see this elder of the community, and yeah. he told us about certain uh, aspects of his uh, beliefs in Islam, and we mm. sat and just talked with him about his beliefs and stuff like that. Yeah, um, um, this is an elderly man that I, that I know. He's an he's an elder and a, and a, and a, and a community leader within the Muslim community. Um, this, another, this, this is another one. Adam, um, do you remember this occasion? Where this was at uh, the Mother Mosque in La. Oh, where the Mother we, Mosque. Yes, mm. we observed the sacrifice. Okay. Um, that's in, I can see, is, is that the, the veil that I see some of you in the veil? <laughs> yes. um, that, that's, that's great. So you look very Muslim. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, yes. Um, Mary, conclude, conclude on, on what you are telling me. Uh, the few things that you learned about uh, our expression, and I'll come back with Justin. She will tell us, tell me some few things about what she's learned. Yeah, you were telling me about, um, you know, mate and what, yeah. what it means, and uh, yeah. So conclude on that, and then and then I'll come back to, to Justin. All right. Yes, I was just saying that whenever whatever expressions we use, if mm. it's out of the house, it's really nice to try even a little bit, right. because you can see on the Ghanaians' face and the locals how they appreciate it so much when we try even even a little bit so it's really nice to use the expressions that we have learned even if they're small or insignificant right. <laughs> interesting yeah J justin um what can you do you also remember some expressions uh, maybe you want to give yes, us yes <laughs> in the morning i always when i'm off to school i'm always greeting machi machi the great i mean <laughs> Sayenya. Sayenya. Oh, oh, it's wonderful <laughs> At the same, the little children love it. We say at the same. Oh, obri kachi, obri kachi. It's very funny. That's interesting. Yes, you, you, were you disturbed with this uh, obroni obroni? Um, mm -hmm. Obroni means you know a white skinned person, and, and now people get excited. I mean, when they see such a person, and they when they see you like Obroni, they, what, they, yeah. did they disturb you with that? Sometimes it's a bit much when we're walking down. We just want to be thinking our own thoughts and. Always Obruni, Obruni, you know, bra, bra, bra. And yeah. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult. We right. can never blend in. Okay, that's, that's great. Um, we're going to wind up, but I will give you a chance to tell me your last words, um, what you want to advise, want to give to Ghanaian, Ghanaian youth of your age, and, 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 and your last words. So, Justin, let me come back to you, and then you, you start yours. Well, I would love to say thank you for Ghana for welcoming us. It's, I've had a really wonderful stay here. I'm, not looking forward to going back in a month. Great. Um, it's, been, it's been really wonderful. It's, it's been wonderful. Yeah. Yes, Adam. Yes, I would just like to say how much I've enjoyed my time in Ghana, how much um, I appreciate Ghanaians and how beautiful this country is. Mm. And I would just really encourage Muslims in particular to take advantage of this program. This program is to promote understanding between the United States and the Muslim world in particular. Yeah. And uh, you've seen the pictures of us at the mosques at Eid al it's all about promoting understand, understanding between us. And so I would really encourage Muslim brothers and sisters to, to, to come take out to the program. That's, that's great. Yes, uh, Mary. I would just like to also thank all of Ghana, the people who are so hospitable over here. We've never really felt like we didn't belong. If, you know, if we didn't blend in, we certainly were welcomed by the people. Mm. And it's just been a great uh, opportunity. And I know for me, without the YES program, I would never have been able to come on such a cultural exchange. Yeah. So like my colleague said, you know, if you want to, if you're interested, please go apply because it is a worthwhile experience. Yeah, great. Let me, let me end up this program with just one last question. Adam, maybe you pick this one and then I will, I will, I will wind up. Um, did the program, your interaction with the Muslim, did, you, did it help you in maybe wiping off if there's any misgivings that you have you had for, for Muslims? Did, did it in any way help you? to get some understanding. Well, yes, it's, it's, it's been really neat to, to um, observe people actually practicing their right. faith. In the United Good. States, I, I've never seen a mosque in my community. All I've right. never seen a Muslim praying. Oh. And to even, there was one day after school, I was going to the dormitory, and I stumbled, almost tripped over. One of my classmates was in the stairwell doing his afternoon prayers. Mm. Oh. And I, that is something I would never see in the United States. 
and to know that that's one of my classmates and to understand where his beliefs come from. Mm. It's really interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. I'm, I'm great. So, Mary, Adam, and Justin, thank you so much. Thank We're you. excited for you. I mean, you've made a difference and you've created some, some change on our program. I mean, I believe that my viewers looking at just today, I have three young people who are Americans who are speaking on Islamic program. I believe by back home there, I was excited. And uh, so for those of you who are, especially the youth, this, this is an advantage for you. Um, make contact with the U.S. Embassy, uh, Public Affairs Department. And uh, if you qualify and you are interested, I believe that they will not deny you the, the, the opportunity. That is what we want for our youth. And then we want also international or global intercultural understanding. The world needs peace. And the way to do it is to go through cultural interchange. And I'm so happy that you are all here. And hopefully... Uh, I will see you one other time, either in the U.S. or back when you are back, back in Ghana here. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much. So, um, before I sign off, please let me use this opportunity on behalf of the family of Alhaji Baba Isa, the Wangara chief of, 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 of uh, the Ayawasu, who lost his wife and the, uh, the, the, the prayer was said just yesterday. He has asked me to thank all and sundry, those who found time to come and mourn with him, to sympathize and empathize with him. He has asked me to Thank you so much, uh, especially the chiefs and the ulama. Al Hajj Mor Baba Isa, Ya Nemi, the Grins, Amat Sainsa, Isa the Godi, Godia Mayewa, Zuago Duka Wonders, Kozo, Orin, Adua, Na Russian Med Akinsa, Oregensa, Yacha Yigodia, Musaman, Zuaga, Sarakuna, the Malum Malima, made the Sunkafto, the Gawasu, Karakarasun Kazo Duka, Yachi, Berebudo Koaba, Abenda Kame, and Hidma Duka, Ya Godi, Kuma, Allah Sakad Al Heri. Until I come your way next Friday with another very interesting edition. Don't forget, the Wadata fashion keeps on making me look so resplendent, so great on the screens. Get there on the ring road, and then you will also get, get your nice apparel. Um, until then, I want to say to you, all of you, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Banji Magana, Tony Banji Magana.